Randy Solon is here. I'm in Baltimore. And Randy, we've been carrying her work now for about three years. Fabulous. And I love Randy. You're going to be in love with the two and her work. Randy, how did you get started? Where did you learn how to blow glass? I went to Alfred University in upstate New York. I've been blowing glass for 27 years. Good grief. And I've, <laughs> and I've had my own studio since 1995. Uh-huh. And were you blowing for someone else before then? Yeah, studio? I worked for different artists for about 10 years. Uh-huh. And I taught at San Jose State University. Out in California. In California. Okay. I worked in California and San Francisco for different glass blowers and in the Bay Area. Okay. And so what's your favorite pieces? I mean, they're all favorites. They're all incredible. Well, I always say that I fall in love with one inch of my work. I'm never completely satisfied, but I can find one amazing inch on every piece. Okay. But this is my newest work, Breathe, and I'm super excited about it. I think it's taken my work in a whole new direction. It's very painterly and like a landscape and movement. It's a true scene. So I'm really excited about that. It does. I mean, when you look at it, once you really look at it, you do see the breeze actually blowing in Right? There. Literally. Yeah. It's incredible. I mean, all of your pieces, that you really have to look into them. And yes. And it develops. What you, exactly. What you're and the to biggest get compliment that I hear that people say after they buy my work is they love living with it. And they literally interact with it like a piece of art. This is Borsetta. This is a true example of me wanting the viewer to get lost in the world. And depending on how you look at it, the piece totally changes. It's great. Who wouldn't love that? Who wouldn't love that? Okay, and then some of these other pieces back here. This one this is, is glacier. glacier. It has fine silver foil embedded in the glass and on the exterior of the glass. Each little thing that you see is intentional. I spend hours and hours on my coloration with a teaspoon through a sifter, like a Tibetan sand painting. Tap, 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 tap. Over and over, everything has been conceived. I break glass up into little tiny pieces called cane, and I lay it in very carefully, thinking about the composition. And then I lay it on a groove tray to make those beautiful marks and then tap white glass into it. That's glacier. These are more opaque pieces, and I'm not sure if the viewer even knows it's glass until they come up to the top and I surprise them <laughs> with this stark cut and polished like a ring of a tree you can see how I make the piece from the inside out it's a big signature of my work is the polish this is Maglione it is a massive piece of glass and I start with a teaspoon of white again through a sifter tap 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 because that draws the viewer's eyes in and allows you to see this amazing form. Again, everything is intentional that I curve the form slightly in space. I break up tons of glass cane and I lay into the surface of the glass. And my assistants are creating this. Purple doesn't really exist, but I take glass over glass to create a new color that nobody's ever seen before. And then embed sheets and sheets of fine silver foil. And how much would you say that weighs, all that glass? This is a good 27 pounds at least. I choose to put this band on the outside of the glass to add one more focal point for the viewer to have a sense of space. You have foreground, midground, background. The silver foil mm -hmm. is from Japan. And this is one of my favorites down here, Mykonos. Yes, you've had this a couple times. It's a strong seller. This is 15 pounds of glass, again with the fine silver foil from Japan. And this is designed to really lose yourself. It's optically polished, so everyone comes up and they think it's solid. People are always sticking their fingers in there. 
because the bottom rises up into space and gives the illusion that it's solid, that it's completely hollow. And I want you to look at it and think about floating off the island of Greece and just taking yourself away. It works. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. Fabulous. Thank you, Adam. Have a wonderful day.